Hello guys, Bell here. Uh, we're going to be talking about the Windwalker Monk and the Artifact Weapon, as you see here. Uh, the Artifact Weapon is the Fist of the Heavens. Uh, <laughs> this is a Fist Weapon. Pretty legit. So a couple things that are important to note here regarding your Artifact Weapon. It is going to grow with you. This will be the only weapon that you do get in Legion for the specialization. Yeah, there's no weapon drops whatsoever. Uh, so you're going to want to get comfortable with the fact that this is going to be your only weapon to use. Uh, definitely something that's going to be important. You're going to use it for PvE and PvP. So let's uh, click the giant turtle and see what we come up with here. First we're going to go into the traits and then we're going to talk about the appearances a little bit. A couple things to note here. Here's your relic slots. You're actually going to be able to, to socket in your artifact relics that you do find in Legion. This is going to increase your item level as well as unlock uh, your ranks here as you see some of these go up to rank three gives you more ability to unlock those traits here's your weapon level view as you see i have a, a maxed out uh, set of weapons here because i'm on the max level server 34 is the option uh, for the total traits that you have the ability to unlock and you do get a 0.75 percent stamina buff for each trait which is really really nice now, it's also important to note that all these traits are passive with the exception of one ability, and that is this one. This is the Strike of the Windlord. Uh, it's an instant ability. It does cost you two chi. It's on a 40-second cooldown strike with both fists of the heavens at all enemies in front of you dealing. This is almost 400k damage, guys, and reducing movement speed by 50% for six seconds. Since this only has a 40-second cooldown, it does take two chi. You're definitely going to want to make sure this is macro to a burst rotation because this is OP. <clears throat> I don't Windwalker, but this would make me want to Windwalker because that is an obscene amount of damage. The rest of these are going to be your passive abilities, so let's jump right in with what we have here. You have Tornado Kicks. This goes up to rank 1. Rising Sun Kick strikes a second time for 15 additional damage. Inner Peace goes up to rank 3. Increases maximum energy by 30. Transfer the Power goes up to rank 1. Blackout Kick and Rising Sun Kick increase damage dealt by your next Fist of Fury by 5%, stacking up to 10 times. You then have Fists of the Wind. This goes up to rank 3, increasing damage dealt by Fists of Fury by 10%. Crosswinds goes up to rank 1. During Fists of Fury, Wind Spirit images of you attack your Fist of Fury targets for a total of 160k additional physical damage. Healing Winds goes up to rank 3, activating Transcendence. <clears throat> Transfer heals you for 20% of your uh, maximum health over 6 seconds. S strength of... <clears throat> Sorry there, guys. Uh, battling a little bit of uh, the onset or the ending, rather, of a cold. So my throat's still um, a little wonky. But the strength of Zune, rank 3. Uh, it has the ability to go up to rank 3. Now, this does increase the chance for Tiger Palm to make your next Blackout Kick, kick cost no chi by 6%, which is pretty nice. You also have the power of a 1,000 Cranes. This goes up to rank 3. Increases damage dealt by Spitting Crane Kick by 10%. Dark Skies goes up to rank 1. Increases damage dealt by Blackout Kick by 15%. A lot of increases to your Blackout Kick here, which I'm thinking that's kind of a theme here. Good Karma goes up to rank 1. Damage redirected by Touch of Karma also heals you. I really like that. It gives you the option of having Good Karma if you choose. Rising Winds goes up to rank 3. Increases damage dealt by Rising Sun Kick by 10%. You have Death Art. This goes up to rank 3. Reduces the remaining cooldown on Touch of Death by 60% if target dies before Touch of Death expires. You also have Light on Your Feet. This can go up to rank 3. Increases Dodge Chance by 10%. Gale Burst goes up to rank 1. Increases damage done by your Touch of Death by 10% of all damage you dealt to the target during its duration. Then you have Tiger Claws. This goes up to rank 3. Increases damage dealt by Tiger Palm by 15%. Last but certainly not least, you have Spiritual Focus. Goes up to rank 1. Increases damage dealt by Storm, Earth, and Fire Spirits by 5%. <clears throat> let's take a look at what your weapons look like now i do apologize for the crappy view unfortunately when i try to move it or pan around i can't get really as close as i would like and this weird water crap is totally freaking me out 
you get to unlock different uh, visual effects when it comes to your weapon. You're going to do this by PvE, your last set here, your Shadow Pan Legacy, this will be PvP stuff. Uh, different things you'll be able to focus through. So there's definitely not going to be a boredom here when it comes to content in Legion, just in your artifact weapons alone. As you see those traits and these appearances, it's a lot to work towards, guys. So let's just get the different colors out of the way for this first string here. This is going to be for your original look of your weapon. Then for your augmented one, uh, which is going to be your Alkahir's Touch. As you see, it's quite a drastic difference in size as well. And there's the green, there's the burnt orange, and then your yellow. I really like the yellow. Now for your Spirit's Reach, completely changes your look. So badass though. This is one of my favorite colors. And I like that as well. And then your Shadow Pan Legacy is going to be your PvP weapon. It's nice that us PvPers get to have Distinguisher since we have to use these. And uh, Freddy Krueger, anyone? Yeah, this is badass. And finally, there's your yellow. Definitely not a disappointment here in the looks of the weapons. That's probably my favorite. So there you have it. There's your Windwalker artifact uh, weapons. If you're new to Pwncast, make sure you subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all the latest news. Don't forget to check out the Windwalker Spell and Talent Preview. I've done all the classes and specs uh, for the Spell and Talent Previews of what we're looking at so far in Legion. And if you're already here, you might as well give the video a little like, hit that thumbs up button, comment, tell me what you think about the weapons, tell me what you're looking forward to in Legion. I'm interested in hearing it. I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.